What's up guys? It's John here from TJ English Taipei. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and having a great time teaching your ESL class. What? You're not? Hmm, maybe you're having just a bad time or maybe you need me to share with you an amazing game. And just take a look. Can you guess what it is? That's right, touch and go. All right, so this is not my original game but I learned it from a friend and I tried it in my class so many times. Of course, I give a little bit of my own twist, but it works amazingly well. Of course, I don't do it all the time, but it works well. Now, guys, uh, because it works so well, I'm sharing, I'm going to share it with you, okay? All right, so this game is called, as you can see, Touch and Go. It's like a race game, okay? And I usually use this game to review the, the things that I taught before, of course, right? So first, I use picture cards so that they can recognize it easily and just practice their uh, listening and speaking skills, right? After that, I move on to the word flashcards so that they can practice their phonics, right? Okay, so how to play this game? I usually divide my class into two teams. I come up, I call two students to come up to the board. And for example, student one and two from team A, they stand over here. Student one and student two behind him, right? And on the other side, the same from student one from team B and student two from team B. When I say ready, set, go, student number one starts reading each flashcard out loud as he or her touches it, right? For example, finish, take a nap, far away, excited. And of course, the opponent is going to be doing the same thing. Line, slow, fast, start, race. When they meet, they have to go for paper, scissors, stomp. Like so, paper, scissors, stomp. Woohoo, I win. So I continue. And the loser student has to line up, go to the back. And student number two has to start it over, finish, take a nap. Of course, I'll be continuing, race, excited, far away, take a nap. We we'll stop here and then we do again. Paper, scissors, stone. Oh my God, I lost, so I gotta go back. And student number two starts it over. Line, slow, fast, start. Okay, they met here. Paper, scissors, stone. Oh, I win. And then I continue, and then student number two starts it over. Finish, take a nap, and so on. You got the idea? So the first player to reach the finish line on each side is the winner. All right? So there you have it, guys. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please uh, smash the like button. Of course, it's going to help me a lot. And uh, if you give your own twist, and it works better than my game, please let me know, write a comment down below and you are not going to be helping only myself but everybody who is watching this video. Okay guys, so there you have it. I hope you have an amazing week. See you next time.